When you want to create a sound file to use the Smart Notebook, the easiest way to do so is with a software through the web called Audacity. Audacity is a free software application that you can download at audacity.sourceforge.net. Again, you are going to go to the, e the address audacity.sourceforge.net. You need to download that software. You also need to download the lame encoder so you can export these documents or files, I should say, as MP3s. <clears throat> On the audacity.sourceforge.net website, they actually show you that you have to do this lame encoder. This is just me telling you again to make sure that you download the encoder so you have the ability to create MP3 versions of any sound file that you create. That is lame.buanzo.com.ar forward slash. Once you have Audacity that's been downloaded onto your computer, it will simply be in your all programs. You notice that my, my Windows 7, since I've used it recently, it's listed here, but it would show up in your all programs just like any other software. This is what Audacity looks like when you open it up. It's very much like any other type of recording system. You'll see that it has many different options, but the buttons we're going to focus on are your simple, go back to the beginning here, your play, record, pause, and stop. These are what you're going to use in order to create sound bites. <clears throat> so for instance, if I wanted to create a sound bite where I was going to read a passage to a, for a student, so when they clicked on the sentence, it would read my voice would actually read the sentence to them. Or if it was a vocabulary word that I wasn't sure if they understood and I wanted to have my voice, I would simply click on the record button. I would record myself saying the sentence and hit stop. Once I hit stop, I'm able to create an MP3 version of this. You go up to File on the File menu bar, you'll see that Export as MP3 is a choice. Now if I click on this, it's automatically going to come up and give me a place to save it. Now I'm going to tell you, if you did not download the lame encoder, encoder you would get an error at this time telling you that you have to download that in order to have an MP3. I'm going to put this on my desktop and I'm just going to call this Sample so I can find it easily and I'm going to click Save. Now this little edit tags come up. If you are not creating a album or something like that, you certainly don't need to fill this out. <clears throat> so you're going to click on OK. I'm going to close Audacity and you'll notice it's going to say, do I want to save changes? No, I don't. I don't need to save this um, as an Audacity file because I just created an MP3 version. So you can click on No. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize my notebook so you can see that on my desktop, I actually do have that MP3 file called Sample. There it is. So I'm going to come back to Notebook and I'm going to add a page and bring an object in from the gallery. So you can see that how easy it is to actually take that sound and now attach it to an object. Because it's an MP3, I don't have to worry about converting anything. I don't have to worry about any other steps than what I just did with Audacity. So in my pull down menu, I choose sound. I'm going to browse for the file and I'm going to go to my desktop. If I go to my desktop, you'll see that that sample MP3 is there. So I click on that. I then click open. And I'm going to go ahead and do corner icon. This is going to put a speaker in the left hand corner. So you can see what that looks like. See the speaker there. Or you can choose when you're at sound to click object. If you click object, the object itself will do actually play the sound file. So I click on it. Clicking the object is like a play pause button. So if I click the object once, it plays. I click it again, it'll pause. Very simple and easy to use. Again, it's important that you export as an MP3 and that once you are in notebook, your sound can easily be attached by using the drop down menu and putting that as an object. Using a microphone is obviously going to be a necessity if you're going to do this on a regular basis because you will not have the background noise. 
You could easily find a microphone at Best Buy, on Amazon, or different locations, usually between $15 and $25, or even buy a wireless mic and have students be able to record from their seats. Again, that's Audacity. The website is audacity.sourceforge.net. The lame encoder is lame.buanzo.com.ar forward slash. Again, the lame encoder, these directions are going to be at the audacitysourceforge.net download site.